Oh my God, it's windy. It's horrible weather and we've got to get some reactions. I should shout into this mic. Ah, how are you feeling? Good, it's an insane game. Proper yeah. semi-final, close to the end. Don't yeah. think you can ask much more as a fan, eh? Were you, were you worried that England were, they were, they were coming up at moments? They were you dominating. Know? Yeah. They were playing very tactical, but I think, you know, once the scrums uh, set for South Africa, it was game yeah. over. That's how they got their penalties. I think England performed unbelievably well. Yeah. You know, I think it was, uh, it was my way beyond my expectations. You know, it was a great game. It was fun. It was just, just good fun. You just wanted to compete at the end of the day. It was very much course, against your odds. Everybody thought that England was going to lose oh, no. by like a everybody massive, on, a massive margin, you know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it was one point. Just like France lost yeah. by one point. I think that the boss to make the change at 10 in 30 minutes and it paid off. So yeah. they know what they're doing. It was it was it all tactical or was Manny Levok just not feeling it in this weather? Tactical. You yeah. needed someone to kick the game and I don't think there's many better kickers than Pollard. Well, how, how was that feeling when Pollard landed that penalty? Just, you know, it's like ecstasy pretty much, you know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Come on! What do you think about that? Oh, they made me sweat for it. They made us sweat. I think you would change about that, uh, the tactical play and everything. A lot of kicking, uh, obviously. Just no, I thought I think England played a fucking great game. Yeah. Just a brilliant game. I, I think they they were much better than every, anybody expected them to be. How, how, how worried were you towards the end of that game? I was busy changing my Eurostar tickets towards the end. <laughs> I'll be honest. Your initial expectations with the World Cup. Uh, did you think? Well, did you think? Cup, uh, the expectation is that, like everybody's expectation, that New Zealand is always going to win, aren't they? You know, yeah. that, that's what everybody thinks. But you know, where did you think England were going to finish? No, I thought you know, like everybody else, everybody thought that England were going to be knocked out of the cup in the first stage. You know, so, so exce exceeded expectations. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, ex exceeded it massively. I haven't really calmed down, but <laughs> we'll be here next week for the big one. Uh, <laughs> But that, that, that was way tougher than we thought. We, they, 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 they played into, they, they, they played the game into their hands, and um, you know we suffered a lot throughout the game. But you know this, the only squad that matters is the one. What a semi final in the end, right? What yeah. a semi final in the end. But the ticket of him, um, fantastic to be a great atmosphere. Yeah. English had us on the ropes for far too long. Uh, it was very intense. It would have been easy. Were you, were you scared? Do you think you were going to lose at some uh, point? I didn't. I hoped we were going to win. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just want South Africa to beat New Zealand now, basically. <laughs> that's, that's my plan, is that, you know, I want South Africa to win. Please, please beat New Zealand. That's my... <laughs> oh, that's lose, lose, lose to the winners, that's fair enough. Lovely yeah. stuff. Yeah. The England game was so tight all the way through, all the way through. Brilliant. Nothing, no, no flair, but solid, solid game. Ten minutes from the end. Is that just a springbok nature to dig deep in and just keep going? I think a lot of the guys came off the bench, uh, they, you know, they put in a good sh uh, shift. Ox, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Two, two great penalties in the scrum, I think it was. I didn't keep track, but yeah, but yeah good turnaround. And I just think um, they're going to have to step their game up in the Nick, in the final. Oh, yeah. 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 Do, you, do you think if they were played like that uh, against the All Blacks, they would win? If they play like that tonight, no. I can't say I can't no. see them winning. No. Hey, Al, it's all leading up to the final. It's Springboks versus All Blacks, one of the oldest games, biggest games in rugby history. Yeah, I don't think there's many more rivalries that come bigger than this one, eh? Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a proper final next weekend. Well, what, what way do you think it's going to go? Oh, oh. Tough game. I don't want to call it, but I think uh, the Springboks might have an edge on the physicality. And yeah. I think in a final, when it comes down to physicality, that's how you win the game. I think that England was very unidimensional. They didn't really do anything but kick, high ball. Every uh, single time they did it, they kicked. They never kicked to the corner, they didn't kick to the run. They just really always just kicked the high ball, hoping that someone would make a mistake to be able to capitalize on that. I like this South Africa-England debate. Here we go. It was working for 70 minutes, wasn't it? <laughs> We'd love to say we really frightened the South Africans who were quite arrogant before that game. So arrogant. Yeah. I've never seen a South African fan base so upset in the stadium other than today. You know why? Because these South Africans, all they did before this game was, was fucking chat. 
chat, pardon, pardon the F word, but however, <laughs> all England was, was winning. All England did was win yeah. before this game. A terrible team. And we're terrible, awful. terrible. Awful. awful. Oh, all you're all awful team, terrible, yeah. Terrible, terrible, terrible. terrible, terrible. We're terrible, terrible. Do you not feel you played well today? No, we played fantastic. We played, well. we we played, played the fantastic, great I'd game. I'd like to say we frightened the South Africans. No, yeah. the, the, the way that doesn't help as well, hopefully it's uh, Paris gives us a bit more to play with next week. Uh, but yeah, in, in, England definitely brought us down to their level. <laughs> Obviously, Shots fired, yeah. Shots fired. <laughs> there was that general feel throughout the tournament for England that they were... The England fans were negative, they didn't want to see this kicking game, but would you say you were proud of that performance? Yes, oh absolutely. When you hold a team, any team, to one point, you go out on high. France last week, yeah? One point. They can go out. That intensity of that first half was um, literally amazing. It doesn't matter who you are, whatever nation. Same us today. First 70 minutes, England, England, England. There was one knock on and then it slowly shifted and then, the, you know, I mean, it wasn't the floodgates. It wasn't even the floodgates open. It just was enough. And it's that one point. Honestly, I feel that England should be very proud of what they've done. Yeah. Um, we've never been overly confident about what we did. Okay. And Pollard made a difference. Yeah. Erge Sneeman made a difference. The bench made a difference. England, you can never, ever, 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 ever underestimate them. In this weather and the rain and everything. Crazy. But I think, but I think the world deserves this final. Yeah. To Africa against New Zealand. I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean that I think that this is what the world deserves. I think, I think, uh, I think the Kiwis beat them. I'm going to go 18-6. 18-6. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. I, I'm going to go 15-9 to South Africa. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go home and cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting one. All Blacks have lost, uh, lost to France and then went on to beat Ireland, yeah, yeah. and then obviously Springboks lost Ireland, but then went on to beat France. Is there a rock, paper, scissors situation? Let me tell you what everyone I beats everyone. I, I, I think you might think that if you just look at the results, but I was here for the game against Ireland, and as soon as we lost that game, I thought we were winning the World Cup, yeah. 100%. Just because we were better than them. Ben O'Keefe played his big part in that game as he did tonight. Couldn't, he couldn't really turn the, the result in his favour tonight. Manny, but, and then Manny kicks his goals, that game was won. You know, after that game, I was convinced that we were we would go all the way and we we're going to be there next week. And we Manny, Manny Livbolt taking off uh, half an hour and everything. Dude, Manny, that, we, that's, that's, we, we, we were discussing that. We were discussing that, right? It's another yeah. Rusty master stroke. Absolutely, yeah. right? It was, uh, it was, as you said, the, that game, he looked at it and was like, this is an arm wrestle. I need a kicker I can trust. Yeah. And, that's, and, and, and Andre was a difference in the end, right? Yeah. Kicks his goals. Uh, kick the winning penalty. That's exactly what it was. Most stroke from Rassi once again. Yep. What can you say? We just like playing in semi-finals because the Irish don't do that. Neither do any of the. Where is Ireland? So Where the fuck is Ireland? It was a delightful <laughs> game. Simple, simple, simple. No, no, no. no. All, all I'm going to say, Freddie, Freddie Stewart played a fantastic. Where the fuck is Ireland? Where is Ireland? Remember that. Where the fuck is Ireland? Ah <laughs> uh, yes! Come on! Yes, man. Let's go! Yeah, honestly, well played, England. Yeah. Hell of a game. Honestly, the yeah. biggest. Honestly, my boy. Yeah. You have to give England. The, 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 the hundreds of props, props yeah. because you can never, every, all, all my English buddies, I live in England, mm -hmm. Me too. and you, I played rugby in England, and all yeah. my rugby buddies was like, yeah, you're going to put 20, I said, boys, you can never underestimate England. This yeah. is England Another in this game, in this yeah. weather. Well played, boys, well played. I, I, honestly, Owen Farrell, oh, yeah. you should shut the, f can I say, I'll, I'll you, can, you can do what you want. You can do Owen what you want. Farrell, the English supporters, okay, Mark Tyndall, okay, <laughs> Alex Payne, James Haskell, he is a star. He's a he's oh, an absolute star. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, one of the greats. He's one, one of the greats. greats. One, one of the greats. greats. Initial expectations when England went into the World Cup was it? Oh, I thought I thought I thought quarterfinals max. Yeah. So for me, this has exceeded all expectations. Yeah. I thought the game would be much much more one-sided South Africa. So for me, this is you know I feel like it's a great result. Quite honestly, you know I think it's going to exceed all my expectations. Yeah, I'm, you know, apart from being surrounded by South Africans, it's pretty hard to take. Over the moon with the third place finish if you beat yeah. Argentina. Yeah, we, we will beat Argentina in third place finishes. I think you know, yeah, based already. based on, already, I think yeah. I think we're, I think we're going to be. I think the third place is a great outcome. Yeah. If I can say to Ale Le Bleu, please, I know you hate us for what happened last week. Okay, it wasn't our fault. It's rugby. Yeah. But I ask you and I beg you, please uh, support Africa uh, suit. Please support us because we need all the support in the world that we can get. Okay, so what's the difference between England and Ireland? And I don't mean it in a bad way. A semi final.
We go. Matthew Vogt to the line. They won't stop him. Oh, oh he's gone. He he's away. gone. Oh, wow. Love him. Oh. oh, this is big. Huge. Mm. What would the referee blow the whistle? An absolute magician. Touch rugby on Everest. Who are the ultimate players? Who will be the first to break pay? Welcome to Paris. Awesome.